hey guys welcome back to another tutorial on the channel today i will be show you how to make your windows 10 desktop look like windows 11 so the end result will look something like this and yeah so to start off there will be a whole bunch of links in the description and then just click each one of the links and download all these files so after you download these files you can double click on the ultra ux theme pager so double click on that click on yes and click next click i accept click next and click i agree and click on install so uh, i've already installed it before the video starts and i will tell you the reason in a second so just click install and then install it and then after the inst installation is complete it will last to uh, reboot your computer so do, do not reboot just click on reboot manually and click on finish so i'm just gonna exit out of this and also guys while installing this it'll create a restore point so not to worry about if something goes wrong and yeah so after you do that you can double click on the this uh, theme file uh, zip file this and then drag it to your desktop and then you can open this up and open up this uh, folder and open up this folder and go ahead and select them right click on them and click on cut after that you just want to open up your c drive and open up your windows and find where is your resources folder so mine is right here open that up and open up the themes run right click on this and click on paste so i've already pasted them and i will tell you the reason as i told you before and then you will see the uh, folder and also you will see these three themes after that you just right click on your desktop click on personalize and you want to click on themes and then select the theme you want to choose so mine i like to choose the uh, dark theme so i'm just going to choose that if you want you can obviously choose the light theme but yeah that's your personal preference and now if you open up your uh, c drive uh, this pc sorry you will see that your theme has been changed so for me it does not change at the first time so i need to go through some process on how to fix them so what i did was i will link the tutorial on how to fix that in the description so i'm just i'm not gonna show you how to fix it in this video so you can watch that tutorial uh to fix if the theme does not apply and also another thing that i face is this theme is comes with rounded edges so as you can see right here there is no rounded edges how to fix that you just right click on this pc click on properties and it should uh, pop up with this uh, window you click on advanced system properties click on settings and you just wanna enable uh show shadows under windows and just wanna turn that on click on apply and you wanna click on ok and now you will see that you have these um you know rounded edges in your things and all the file explorer and the stuff and then after you put the team you can double click on the wallpapers folder and just wanna put the wallpaper folder to your desktop just drag it and then x out of this and you can double click on the wallpapers folder open up the wallpapers uh, folder and you wanna right click on the img19 click on set as desktop background and now you will see that your wallpaper has been changed to the windows 11 wallpaper or if you did not like that you can choose the other one so i'm just gonna choose the other one real quick this one right here so after you've done that double click on all new explorer zip and drag it to your desktop close this and open up the uh, folder double click on all new explorer application and now when you click on this and you're gonna click this so do not click this untick it and you're gonna untick last two options right here okay and then you're gonna click on install it'll install it click on yes and this should pop up click yes and yeah click close after you've done that so after that uh, what you guys need to do is just minimize this and then go ahead and double click on 70TSP GUI uh, C folder and drag this 70TSP uh, GUI uh, file to your desktop and close this and then you right click on this and you wanna click on rename and you just wanna rename this to like delete the last EE -E letters and you wanna type as .exe and you wanna click enter click yes and you will see that this thing changed to application file so after that go ahead and open up the windows 10 uh, insider preview folder uh, c file and go ahead and drag and drop this folder onto your desktop and close this and then just want to open up this folder and then open up the 7 dsp themes uh, folder and right here you will see some themes 
so from these teams you can choose any team you like but personally i like the uh, yellow one and like this uh, like the default thing so i'm just gonna choose that so once you select your team just right click on them uh, click, click right click on the file click on rename and you want to remove this remove text so remove them also remove the dot and the remove text and click enter click yes and now you will see that the file changed to a zip file and minimize this and you can open up the 70 spg ui for uh, application click on yes and it will say something like this just click on yes and you can close this because why not and you soon click on add custom pack and this still uh navigate to the location where you guys save that thing so i'm just gonna uh open up this open up this and i'm just gonna select this click on open and it'll start patching this will take some time so i'll be be patient and i will be right back after this has been finished so also click on start patching yeah i will be right back after this has been done just click yes and it'll start the process so guys as you guys can see i successfully patched my icons and after you do that it will ask to restart your computer and after you restart your computer it will pull up a message showing that your system has been patched it means you successfully complete that step and now if you open up your this pc you will see that your icons has been changed so now we can go to our taskbar customization process so to do that you can double click on start a center ta uh, task menu that uh, see if i'll just drag it to your just drag these files to your desktop and then just wanna select all these things right click on them click on cut open up your this pc and your c drive right click on this and you can click on paste and also you can uh, create a, a folder for this but yeah you can leave it as it is if you would like to anyway so after you've done that you can uh, right click on this the application file so right click it and click on send to and click on desktop it will create a shortcut and just gonna right click on this and click on properties click on change icon click browse and just select this uh, windows icon click open ok apply and ok and right click on this click on just drag it to your uh, taskbar and it will pin that ok and you will see something like this in your taskbar and now to center your taskbar icons you can double click on taskbar x that thing and also make sure to create a separate folder for this because there will be a whole bunch of files so just um, then just gonna drag this just gonna select all this drag this to this folder and open that up and then you can double click on the taskbar x application and thing and after you do that you will see that your icons has been uh, centered out so if you want to make your taskbar look transparent you can open this up and you can double click on taskbar x configurator and it'll open up this uh, software right here and now you can click on transparent under this style select that and click apply and now you will see that your taskbar is transparent but i personally like to keep it at uh, like a translucent face so i'm just gonna make it like this anyway so after you've done that you can put this to a separate folder so right click click new click on folder you can call this as so after you create a separate folder you can put all these things so just select all these things and drag it to this folder and click on skip if that thing asked and just wait till that this is completed and yeah that's pretty much it and now we can put it like this and yeah guys that's how you can make your windows 10 desktop look like windows 11 so as you can see this is very uh, simple and it's, it's minimalistic as you guys can see yeah that's pretty much it for the video and hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please be sure to like and subscribe the channel okay guys so now let's see how to uninstall the themes and all the changes you do to your computer so to do that just uh, click on your windows icon search up as restore click on re create restore point and this should pop up and you're gonna click on your c drive to select that click on system restore and you're gonna click on choose a different restore point click next and now you just want to select the uh, restore point so just select the restore point and just click on next click on finish and it last to restart your computer click yes and then your theme should be uninstalled and all the things will be changed to the way that it looks previously
and yeah so i'm just gonna i'm not gonna do that now because i will do it later and yeah guys that's pretty much it for the video and thank you so much for watching this tutorial until this end and please be sure to like and subscribe the channel if this video helped you out and yeah i will see you guys in the next video and peace